morning guys and welcome to the start of a weekend vlog it is friday today and i thought i would start it a day early as i am going i'm having a baby free day um andrew's off work he's just dropping me off i'm meeting my friends for brunch and then we're going wedding dress shopping i don't know if i've mentioned it in a video but one of my oldest bestest friends sarah you've probably seen her in some vlogs before is getting married next year and she's asked me and Abby um, and our other friend Fiona and her sister obviously to be bridesmaids. So we're going wedding dress shopping today as the wedding is a year away um, and I'm really excited. We're going um, to a couple of shops in Harrogate, one of which I actually got my wedding dress from um, so it'll be nice to go back there as it was a beautiful shop um, and they sell Jenny Packham's. My wedding dress was a Jenny Packham and she's like my favourite designer. For wedding dresses in the world so i'm just excited to have a browse and see what all the new dresses are like um yeah and it should just be a really lovely girly day and um, wilf has been possessed by the devil this week hasn't he um because he's teething majorly um and he has been pretty exhausting i won't lie so andrew has that to look forward to today um yeah and actually oh also um today is a year since our 12 week scan with wilf so what a milestone and whilst he is being the devil he is obviously still a little angel really um, and it's a very special one year anniversary of Wilf's 12 week scan um, so I will check in at brunch oh, ambulance. I'll check in at brunch and see you all there And now, <laughs> just vlogging in the street, now we are going to the second dress shop, which is the one where I got my dress. It's very exciting to go back there um, and it's such a beautiful day today. There's our bride on the um, on the chat show seat. How was shop one? It was good. It was good. Yeah. You had two you liked, didn't you? Two. Yeah. Um, so now we're in, what's it called? It's no sign. So this is the bridal collection. It's very glam. Grand. <laughs> it's very grand. She's gone to get us some prosecco. So, are you ready? Are you going to try on anything a bit different this time? I'm going to try this. Yeah, this one in the window is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite a long train. It is. But you can scoop it. You can bustle it. That's what that's what we're here for, Sarah, just to walk around carrying things for <laughs> you. <laughs> Morning, guys. So it is Saturday now. I am just here with this little grumpy papa. Oh, not that you'd ever know, because you smile as soon as the camera goes on. Oh yeah, work it girl. Um, so, I'm just about to do Wilf's breakfast. I probably look a little bit weird right now because like, my makeup is half done. And then Wilf kicked off because he's hungry and tired. Do you need a nap? So I've just made his porridge here. Are you going to have some porridge? And then are you going to go for a nap? And Daddy's just washing your cup up for you so you can have some water. Um, yeah, so I am going to give him his porridge. We don't have tons of plan today. Um, I'm going to go to the park. Are you going to come to the park? Hi. I'm going to meet Abby and our other cousin, Flora, who's just up from London for the week. Um, we're going to go to the park and get some cake in the cafe, basically, because it is miserable and raining. Um, and then we're not really doing much today, are we? No. No, just like we need to go to the shop and get some food bits. We need to, what else? Do some wedding editing. Um, that's about it really, isn't it? Just pretty nothing day really. Um, yeah, so ignore my haggard hair and my dodgy half done face. And I will give Wilf his porridge and hopefully check in when I'm looking a little bit more human. Well done, cheeky bum. You ate all of your porridge. He loves his breakfast. You he love your breakfast, food. don't you? He does. 
So I am up and dressed now. My hair literally looks like Hagrid. Um, I've not done anything with it and now I've had it cut. I really can't get away with doing nothing with it. It just looks like a frizz bomb triangle. Um, but I'm feeling really poorly now. This is going to be the worst weekend vlog ever. Um, but I've been with my friend the past couple of days and she's got like a really bad like sore throat and cough and I can feel it coming on and I feel like poo and I'm struggling to parent while feeling like poo so thank god Andrew is off because I'm just like please do everything um, I'm not feeling good at all still going to the park in a bit to meet my cousins um, and I'm going to take Wilf with me just so he gets some fresh air because he's in a horrendous mood with his teeth um, so yeah that's the plan we've been doing some editing this morning on Elise and Nick's wedding video um their wedding was in December as you all know um but obviously we weren't charging them because um they're friends so we needed to get all the like paid weddings edited first so there's taken longer um but yeah we're hoping to get it finished this weekend let me know in the comments if you would like me to upload their like it's only about three minutes long they're like short wedding video um I know I did a vlog during vlogmas of their wedding day but if you'd like to see like the proper filmed by Andrew um wedding video then let me know and I can definitely upload that for you um yeah and I'm gonna go now because I'm feeling so sorry for myself um I don't feel like I've like been ill for ages and I'm not enjoying it it's coming into spring now this quite cold and chesty thingy should be like done with by now but it seems it is not are you the grumpiest baby in the world hey. what is it with you in this camera he's literally just been crying andrew and i turn it and he's like oh hey do i just have to film you all day every day so you're in a good mood you've got fluff in your mouth mister you're just chilling with your fur sissy are you chilling with your fur sissy you're both little sassy things aren't you <laughs> Yeah? You sassy? Look at all this hair regrowth. It all fell out. It's all coming back. Hello. Right guys, look who I'm with now. Hello. It's Abby and we're just walking down to the park. I've got Wilf in the Tula. Um, it's thankfully stopped raining for probably about two minutes and I've definitely jinxed us by just saying that. But um, we're not. We're not doing anything active today, are we? We're not going for like a walk. We're literally going to the cafe to have like all the cake. Oh, I've got a question for you. Oh, go on. Don't like Noel Gallagher in this coat. <laughs> James told me just before I was leaving the house that I look like Noel Gallagher. What do you think, guys? Does she look like Noel Gallagher? Like Noel Gallagher. Um, I don't think you do. It doesn't have the fur. My parkery thing's definitely much more Noel Gallagher because it has like the big furry hood. Okay, James doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know. Um, he's hardly a fashion icon. He's not, he's not a fashion guru, I don't know what he's talking about. Misty mountains, dusty roads ahead Crossing rivers, dreaming of a bed From a window in the mighty clouds So we are home now. Andrew is about to give Wolf his bottle and I thought we'd do a really quick food haul. Um, we nipped to M&S after the park and I don't want you to think M&S is somewhere we normally shop because it's really not. We're like Aldi, Asda people. M&S is pretty posh. Um, but they started doing these recently which are the um, M&S veggie chunks and I've not found anything like them anywhere else and I'm completely obsessed. Um, so we just went to stock up on some of these and um, they're in the fridge section but um, they're suitable for freezing too and they're vegan if anyone's vegan and I really really like these I prefer these actually to the corn pieces um, so I got three packs of the M&S veggie chunks to stock up we then decided to do two dime for £10 um, but I'm going to make like a curry with some veggie chunks for me tonight and Andrew just saw this whole chicken which decided he needed don't know how he's going to eat a whole chicken to himself and um, but it's such a good deal because that's like seven pounds 22 if you can see on its own and then because it was in two down to ten pounds we also got a side dish so he picked garlic mushrooms um 
and I'll probably have some of them maybe for my lunch tomorrow with what's left over. Um, you get a bottle of wine. So Andrew just got a bottle of red and we'll probably have a glass of that tonight and then you get a dessert. So naturally I went for the British cheese selection and you get a um, Lancashire, a Red Leicester and a Black Sticks Blue, which is one of my absolute favorite cheeses. And to go with that, we grabbed some crackers um, and I also got some new cordial because this sounded like heaven. I love anything rhubarb flavored. Come on camera, focus. I'm not liking it at all. This is um, British rhubarb cordial with a hint of ginger. Um, and I've got lots of sparkling water in the cupboard, so I thought that would be delicious. So yeah, not a big food haul, but just picked up some bits. And then I got home to a very exciting parcel, which is my new sweatshirt for Kelsey. So this is from, it's Kelsey's Life's um grow through what you go through the like new print which i am obsessed with it's got like mountains and trees and i'm totally feeling this um and i got it in a huge baggy oversized size and um, i was absolutely obsessed with the last one i got and i love this print even more so i think i might stick it on now and have a comfy cozy afternoon in my new sweatshirt um yeah and i just absolutely love it and anything to help support Kelsey on her fertility journey um, because she is having such a tough time of it at the moment um, I just want the world to give her a break because she's just having like setback after setback and I just really want it to happen for her soon and anything to help support her journey um, is good by my books plus I just love these sweatshirts so I love wearing them anyway um, yes yeah, so I'm gonna go put my comfy sweatshirt on get snugged on the sofa and I think we will do some more wedding editing um, and I think Wilf's probably do a little nap so hopefully he'll have a little snooze while we do that after his bottle. Wilf has had his bottle now haven't you cheeky boy? <laughs> and he should be going down for a nap, he keeps drifting and then getting distracted. You're fighting it aren't you bubs? You are fighting it. But I'm in my new sweatshirt, it is so comfy, we're snuggled under a really soft blanket and we've got the computer set up, ready to edit some more of Elise and Nick's video. There's little Daisy Dog. You alright, babe? You're just chilling as well. And we can just have a nice relaxed afternoon now. I'm not going out anywhere. Some cuddles on the sofa is just in order, I think. I'm still feeling quite rubbish. Um, but I haven't had any like paracetamol or anything yet, so if it gets worse I might take some tablets and try and keep it at bay um, and see if that helps. Hopefully it might not develop into anything too full blown, but my friend had a very chesty cough with hers which didn't sound very nice, so we could be in trouble. We could be in trouble, couldn't we? It's maybe Sophie, are you going to go to sleep? Are you going to go to sleep? You don't look like it. Um, yeah, so we'll get some editing done. Hopefully have some nap time. And um, just have a really chilled day and hopefully feel a little bit better tomorrow. Yeah, thank you for this. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. This is the kind of rubbish you have to put up with <laughs> when you're filming a friend's wedding and your wife's a bridesmaid. So Wilf's gone to bed early because he is grumpy today so I think he was just ready for bed. Um, I'm going to start tea in a second. Um, so I think I might leave it there for today and carry on tomorrow. Um, I'm just going to cook tea and then get an early night because I'm feeling pretty poo myself. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all in the morning. Hello, so it is Sunday now and I'm actually starting today's vlog a little bit late. I'm just in Wilf's room as you can probably tell and it's an absolute tip. So I think I'm going to have a bit of a clean. That's literally all clean washing, not that you would know it because I've just been like rifling through it. There's stuff everywhere everywhere it is a mess 
Um, so I'm gonna have a bit of a tidy, I think. It's actually already like lunchtime, but I'm still feeling pretty poorly today. So I've just been like moping around, feeling a bit sorry for myself, but it's the afternoon now. I'm gonna get pumped. I'm gonna like sort my life out, tidy up in here. I might do a little speed clean, but I'm not sure because let me know in the comments what you think of speed cleans. Um, I personally would never watch a speed clean. I cannot think of anything worse to watch. Like I hate cleaning. I'm a really messy person as you can probably gather by now. And I absolutely hate cleaning. But I know people go crazy for those videos. Like they get so many views. And I'm not one for like doing a video for the sake of views. So I can guarantee you will never catch me doing a like standalone speed clean but if you guys do like them I don't mind incorporating them into vlogs if I'm vlogging anyway um so yeah I might give a little speed clean a go today see what you guys think and let me know if you'd like to see them in vlogs going forward um yes yeah, so that's the plan hoping we can pop out and get a bit of fresh air this afternoon because I could do with some fresh air um let's ignore what's going on in my head Need to wash my hair but I'm not going anywhere so no point I'm rambling now gonna get on have a clean and have some lunch and then hopefully get out and about and have some fresh air you are like old dust over me just like an angel said So that is all pretty much tidy now. I'll give you a quick pan round. All that's tidy now. There's a pile of clothes there which are new things for Wilf. So I'll film a haul so I just keep them out so I remember what I need to put in the haul. Got a pile of stuff that he has grown out of um, that I will probably offer to Lauren or Katie. Mainly Lauren, obviously she's got a boy but some of it's a bit unisex. Katie might want it. This, I'm at breath, how unhealthy. This, um, I need to take the tags off and wash before I put it away and then this is the vest Andrew got for Mother's Day that I need to pop in Wilf's memory box and yeah all of that is now tidy as well everything up there put away so I'm feeling much better now I've done something a bit productive and I thought I would quickly show you Wilf's photo album that I've started I showed this on my insta stories but I haven't shown it on here and I absolutely love it um so I really wanted to do like an album of the whole year rather than having like all my photos online or lots of like loose photos everywhere or loads of little albums. I've really really wanted to do just one big album. So every year I'll have like Will's first year, Will's second year, so on and so forth. And this is the album I've got. It's absolutely huge. They are expensive. These are um, I think £60. But because I'm just doing one album, I thought it was a really good investment. It's absolutely stunning, as you can see. And it is, like, embossed in gold with Wilf's first year. Um, I'm obsessed with it. And I have been printing photos off for free from the Free Prints app, um, which my friend Amy told me about. She uses it for her little boy Forrest's photos. And I've just been, like, sticking them in. It's like a bit of a um, diary of his life so far. So starting with, like, pregnancy scans, bump shots 
oh I miss having a bump so much I loved having a bump um some more pregnancy ones there that's from a baby shower and from a wedding and this is when I was in labour and my waters had broken I wasn't in labour I clearly wasn't in any pain there but my waters had broken that was my last bump shot at 36 weeks before I went into labour and had Will and then these are like all of his very very first photos cuddles with Andrew and my mum this is the first ever time I held Will um, and it's just really special um, I won't bore you with all of them obviously I could look at them all day look how yellow he was there <laughs> um, and this is when he was under the lights for his jaundice um, they're just really special I'll flip forward so you're not looking at um, all the same ones look how much hair he had so much gorgeous dark hair look how tiny he was and um, meeting my friends for the first time there he is like meeting some family for the first time um, Christmas photos there he is with little Jackson um, at Christmas again and it's like a real mix of like um, nice kind of like Instagrammy photos and also just like some ones I don't really post anywhere let me try and find oh we're at the end yeah just some like <laughs> random funny ones from my phone that I thought were cute to be printed that's Wilf and my mum um, look them thighs, having a little snooze, having our first bath together in the carrier as always. Um, so yeah I'm just absolutely it's like my most treasured possession um, and I need to go on free prints and print some more photos off. I'm going to print them every month, get them all stuck in and then like put it out for his first birthday so everyone can have a look at it if they want to. Um, but I just think it's such a special special thing to have so nice knowing they're all in one place and I'm really looking forward to buying his like second album already they do so many beautiful designs if you're wondering I think this is by a brand called oh I can't remember hang on I will look on Instagram for you as I did have quite a few questions about it when I posted it on Instagram um, where are we there it is so it is by Harrison Jones, obviously this isn't sponsored or they didn't send me it like I paid for it with my own money, do need to clarify although if they want to send me one they are more than welcome to, um, this is their Instagram if it wants to load, Harrison Jones, um, they actually reposted my photo which is really cute um, and I ordered it on Not On The High Street. You can get different sizes as well so if you wanted a smaller one um, or this was a bit pricey you can get a smaller one but I I'm obsessed with it, it is huge, it's beautiful, it's going to hold all the pictures from his first year, no problem at all. I'll just give you one last flick because I'm obsessed. Oh, look at Squishy Baby Wolf. Oh, how yellow was he? What a glorious tan. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you that because I absolutely love it and it's so special. I just love printing off some new pictures and like really taking the time to sit down and get them all stuck in and it's so relaxing. Um, so yeah that is Wolf's album. I just thought I'd show you it if any of you wanted to do something similar for your little ones. I think it's such a cute idea to have them all in one place and I think I'm gonna go and make some lunch now um, as I've worked a bit of an appetite having a bit of a tidy. <coughs> What's it tasting like? I'm filming. Spoons, can I have one of the other ones? The other ones are good. Can I have it? It's in the drainer. <laughs> Are you still filming? If you're wondering, guys, I don't get the hype with these munchkin spoons. I don't like them. I prefer the other ones we have. Will you get I one? zoomed right in on your face. Oh, we're all. <laughs> can you grab one of the other spoons, please? I don't like these ones. So much easier. It's so much easier. How tasty is that? Mm. That's so tasty. <gasps> wow. Wow. Is that so lovely? You're such a big boy. <laughs> yeah, you are. <coughs> Andrew has just finished giving Wilf his lunch um, so that I can have mine as it is now ready and um, I thought I'd quickly just show you I'm having um, last night's like curry stir fry thing 
but with noodles. I had it with rice yesterday. And I have just started a like vegetarian meal ideas video, which will be up, um, I think a week on Wednesday, which is quite specific, but I'm doing it as a collab with another YouTuber. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that if you are interested in seeing vegetarian meal ideas or, that was a bit sudden, vegetarian meal ideas or meals that you could easily tweak if you had meat as well. Um, so I'm just gonna have that. We're carrying on editing Elise and Nick's video. It is very nearly done now. Excuse all of the mess. Um, and then I think we will finally get out of the house and go for a little walk just to get some fresh air. <coughs> what are you saying? <coughs> are you upside down, Papa? So we have made it out for a walk, thankfully. Um, we've not gone anywhere far from home. It's really squinty, the sun's quite bright, so it's not like particularly. Um, but we've made it out the house finally, hallelujah. Wasn't sure we were going to, it was touch and go. Um, but we've just come to the local kind of area, so Daisy can have a little run around off the lead. We've got Will in the Tula as always. I don't know if I've actually mentioned it in this vlog which is ridiculous because we're nearly at the end of Sunday now but um, we've not been having a good few days with Wilf. Um, he's very very unhappy. I think it's like a combination of the fact he's teething but also, um, I'm trying to turn where I can actually open my eyes, it's so bright. I think it's a combination of the fact he's teething but also he's in the fifth leap which does anyone else's like babies or children get affected by leaps so like I can't believe how spot on they are I don't understand how they're so spot on but for Wilf literally to like the day they're exactly spot on um, and he's just not a happy bunny really here he is in the Tula he's so chilled when we come out as soon as he gets in the carrier he's happy but when we're at home he's just like miserable and inconsolable and I just don't really know what I can do to like cheer him up um teething must be so uncomfortable anyway but then just like a big developmental leap and he's just not a happy bunny so it has been a bit of a tough few days in that sense especially because I've not been feeling well thank god Andrew's been off work because he has done a lot this weekend like he's let me like he's got up with Wilf in the morning so I could have a bit of a lie-in um and it's definitely made a difference because he hasn't been a happy bunny um but I'm hoping tomorrow is a new day and he might be a bit chirpier um, tomorrow I'm actually going dress shopping with Sarah again. We think she could have found the one, um, but there's one more brand they didn't stock at these two shops we went to that she wants to try. So we're going to nip there tomorrow morning. Um, I won't vlog it, but I will report back in another vlog um, whether she found one there or whether she goes for the original one. I won't tell you what it is. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have a little wander now and then go home and it'll nearly be bedtime. It's already about five half five now so bedtime's at seven give him a little bath and then hopefully he will be a happier bunny there's andrew his hair is huge at the moment because he's not had a haircut so he's not let me vlog him all weekend um can definitely see that wolf is gonna have a full head of hair with andrew as a dad and me as a mum we are both very hairy people um, and I'm rambling for the sake of rambling so I will see you when we get back and probably end the vlog really soon. Right so I think I'm going to end it there for this weekend vlog. I have just dealt with what I can only describe as an award-winning poo explosion. Like I have never seen anything like it. It was everywhere, it went all over my jumper, all over my jeans. I hope it comes out. This one's looking so proud of himself now aren't you? You just had a bath because my god did you need one and you're all fresh sleeping bag about to go on last bottle about to be had and then I'm going to go for a bath Andrew's going to watch Star Wars apparently and Wilf is going to go to bed yes you are he looks so chuffed with himself after that I think all he wanted to do all day was just poo all over me um, so yeah I'm going to leave it there on that very happy note hope you've all had a brilliant weekend let me know in the comments what you've been up to and i will see you all in my next video bye guys <laughs>